Welcome back everyone. Pete here, videographer for Major League Baseball. And today I want to kind of go through the number one way I use Adobe Bridge as a videographer to stay organized and why you should use it too. Welcome back to the channel everyone. What is up? Welcome back. Pete here. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a little shorter of a video today. This is a really simple trick that I've been using over the last four or five years since I started doing video, I learned it and picked it up at Georgia. It's kind of how a lot of people organize their clips. I kind of want to share this with you younger videographers and, and why it's important to stay organized and why this tool is useful. So Adobe Bridge is a free digital asset management software in the Adobe Creative Suite, obviously. You can use it to organize your videos, your photos, your, your designs your PSDs, whatever it be, in an easy way. Now, I will preface this with saying Adobe Bridge is just not the most efficient software. It freezes a lot, you gotta wait for things to load. It's quite slow at times, no matter what computer you have. So be patient with it, but it is useful. It is important to stay organized as a videographer. You wanna be able to find your files fast. You wanna be able to keep everything in line on your hard drives. With that being said, let's get onto the computer and I'll, I'll take, take y'all quickly through this. Hope y'all can see me. Currently resting the camera on in a little clay model of Audi Field from DC United that I got because I lost my tripod. But let's get into this, this, this small tutorial. I have my finder pulled up here. I'm going to go into my hard drive, go into my footage. I highly suggest keeping all this organized just, just like this. Whatever you shoot, everything goes into its own folder. In our little MLB footage folder, all we have is stuff I edited, remote edits, player edits. We also have games in here too that I have not labeled yet. And that is what I wanna take y'all through today. So basically what I do with Adobe Bridge is I batch label my clips and then I label them individually, if that makes sense. It's just a way to keep them regimented and organized that I highly encourage every videographer to do, not just in sports. We're gonna open up Adobe Bridge here, go to our computer and find our file that we want to label. Let's pick a game in here. August 28th against San, the San Francisco Giants versus the Atlanta Braves. Here we go. So I have clips shot. These MXF files were shot on a Canon C300, which these files aren't playable back in Finder. So I have to label them in here. And then here I have some pregame clips that I shot with my Sony, which are playable back in, in, in Finder. So what I'm gonna do is highlight these. And like I said, it's gonna be kind of laggy. That's just how Adobe Bridge is. See, here we go. I tried to highlight all that and it didn't work. Got all my Sony clips highlighted. Gonna find tools, batch rename. This is probably what the screen you're gonna show be shown is. This part is the most important part. You have to follow these instructions just how I'm telling you. Just to keep your clips labeled and organized when you sort them by name. This is how you're gonna be able to do that. So do year first and then month and then day, right? So, cause we're labeling this game from August 28, 2021. That will allow your clips to stay organized by name forever. If you did the month first, then it would be, you know, if you did 08 and you sorted by name, then you would get clips that started with 08 also coming up if you sorted it by name. And that could be from any month of August from any year, if that makes sense. So then we wanna hit this plus sign, actually add an underscore. Hit the plus sign. We're gonna do SF versus ATL, which is the game, and then underscore description, which is basically describing the clip, what happens in the clip. So that is what you're gonna to wanna to go back and label after using Finder or Adobe Bridge, and I'll show you that in a second. Hit, an, hit the plus sign again, do underscore A7123, which is the camera that I shot these clips with, and then I like to do my initials at the end, underscore PG. There you go. That's gonna label all your clips. And then we hit rename. I'm gonna take a little bit. So if we go into Finder and we find this individual game, we can see that these clips are labeled like such. After you do that, you wanna go into Finder. This clip is Logan Webb, pitcher for the San Francisco Giants pregame. Hit enter and then just rename this file Logan Web pregame. Here's another one. This is a Brandon Crawford clip. Just walking out of the dugout. Enter, click that out. Go to description. Brandon Crawford. 
Bradford pregame slow motion. So basically what you're seeing is I'm just taking out the, I'm just relabeling it and just typing in what happens in the clip where that you left that description piece. Now, as for the C300 clips, obviously, like I said, you cannot play them back in Finder. So how are we gonna label those? Highlight all your Canon C300 clips or MXF files or whatever you shot this with. All right, have them all selected and do the same thing. When you get in there, just change the camera name and do the same thing, rename. And there you go. If we go into our Finder again, we see that all these clips are labeled. Can't play them back though. What I do is I slate my clips after I get a good clip, I put a black screen, I put my hand in front of the lens, so I'm able to go back through those clips fast and quickly, and I can relabel them. So here we go. You can do this in Adobe Bridge. So that's basically how I do this. Hit play. There's your clip. Brandon Crawford batting practice. So what I do is right click, reveal in Finder, and then I do the same thing we did with the Sony clips. I just change the name, Brandon Croft, Crawford pre-game BP. There we go. But there you go, there's your trick. Stay organized videographers. I hope y'all did gain some value from this. I know a lot of people on a couple videos ago, can't remember which one commented that they wanted this tutorial. So leave some comments if you have any other questions. I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert with Adobe Bridge, but this is just a way I was taught to use it and a way that's helped me over the years. So why not give that information back to y'all? Anyways, like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I'll see y'all in the next video.